All right, Barb's. I know you are going through everyone's reviews of this album. I have to give my honest opinion of what I think. And some of these songs. I don't know what she was thinking. I'm sorry. Okay, hello, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Taylor. If you guys are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know what you guys think about the Pink Friday 2 album. I want honest opinions because some people want to be kissing Nikki's ass and some people want to just be hating. I know some big YouTubers have put up their reviews. I know some people streamed it. I'm, I'm going to tell you what I personally think about this album. Now, Pink Friday 2, I'm going to just say it right now, I wasn't a fan of the fact that she named it this. I wish she gave it its own, like, it's still its own era, but it's not its own era. Because now I have to compare it to Pink Friday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm comparing it to the original. I wish this was given a different name because this album was different. This album was something that I didn't fully expect. I thought... You know, I thought she was coming with like her Chun Li vibes or her Roman vibes, like Ruby the Sleeves. Like I thought, I thought Nikki was just gonna go hard the whole album. If you've listened to it, you know that she didn't go hard the whole album. She she went hard, she went soft, she went into vulnerable states, and I was just like, whoa! It was a whole vibe. But I'm gonna get into it. In terms of the songs that I consider not bad, they're not terrible. They're not awful they're not great either if you catch my vibe there's three songs that i put on this list the first one is r&b the reason is r&b i thought for nikki and lil wayne it wasn't their best collaboration personally i don't think it was their best collaboration i feel like it could have been better but this is what they wanted to put out so i'm gonna listen to it a few more times and maybe i catch a different vibe next week we'll see but I don't know. It, again, it's not a bad song. It's just not what I expected from Nicki and Lil Wayne. And if this is her fifth album and, you know, rumored to be like her last album with her record company, you know, this, I thought it was going to be like, she's going with a bang, but it is what it is. Next on the list for not bad songs, Pink Birthday. It wasn't terrible. It was a vibe. It's definitely a vibe. It's a bop in, a, in its own right, in its own way. It just wasn't on my best top 10 list of this album. Mind you, this album has 22 songs with four others coming, I guess on the, the deluxe version. She announced it and I was like, there's four more songs. And one of them is a 50 Cent collab apparently. So I can't wait for that to come out. When those songs come out, we're gonna do another review. So don't worry. Um, and then the third song on my not bad list is Beep Beep. Beep Beep, I think was too short. Personally, I think it was too short. Um, but it was it was a vibe. It was a bop. It's a vibe. It's it's something. But it wasn't all the way there. Personally, that's how I just feel. Okay, just personal opinion. I'm not saying this is the end all and be all. This is just personal opinion. Now, when it comes down to the flops, I know some of y'all are gonna be like Taylor. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. But we're gonna kick it off with Needle, her song with Drake. She could have kept this one. I'm not a fan of this. And as a Canadian girl originally from Toronto, like I want to support Drake just for that. But at the same time, this song just, I don't know. It just wasn't it. Same thing with like the Lil Wayne. Like they've had better collaborations. This song, Needle, just, it didn't hit for me at all. But to each their own. I know it's a hit for some people, but it's just, I don't know. It's like a six out of 10 for me. Now, FTCU, um... I was not feeling that song at all. The beat goes hard. Like, the sound of it is amazing. Like, it's just the lyrics and, you know, club up, fuck the club. I don't know. I guess it's for a certain type of crowd. It just wasn't my type of vibe. I wasn't feeling it whatsoever. I was just like, skip. That was the first song I skipped. I was like, oh my gosh, no, not the skips. Not, not us starting with the skips already. But that song is a no for me. I did not like it whatsoever. Also, Cowgirl. 
I did not like that song either. There's just something that wasn't clicking for me with that song. And I don't know if I'm the only one. I haven't watched other reviews yet. Like I'm going to after I put this video up. Because I wanted to keep this review as unbiased as possible. But yeah, Cowgirl just, I wasn't feeling it. And then, oh my god, the barbs are going to hate me for this one. But Nicki Hendrix, I did not like that song at all. I don't know what it was. Again, I'm going to have to listen to it a couple more times throughout the week. Maybe I'll catch a different vibe on it. Maybe it's one of those songs that you need to sit with for a while. But as of right now, within the last 48 hours, that song is not it. That song, Nikki, for Nikki Hendrix, I just thought it would be more. The name of it, everything, I just thought it would be more and it wasn't. And I just, I don't know, something just wasn't hitting for me. That song was like a five and a half out of ten for me. For now, I will review this album again in like maybe two, three months and give you a whole, probably a whole different review. But that song just wasn't it. And then the silly flop, but silly fun song. Like, it's not a flop flop. It's more like just a silly fun song that she did was Pink Friday Girls. And I was like, okay, this is cute. This is a cute song, but it's not like hip hop, like the way I expect Nicki Minaj to come through with the raps. Like, it was fun and cute. It was like her silly side. And it's just like, oh, this is adorable. This is like, you know, a little fun song, but that's it. That's all I can say about Pink Friday Girls. Other than that, I can skip it. I don't have to listen to it. Now, before I get into my top 10, I want to talk about the sentimental songs. Because if you listen to this album, you know from the jump, from the very beginning of you hit and start, no shuffle, just play from song one, this was going to be a different vibe. Are You Gone Already made me cry. I actually had to pause that song and I tried to play it again and then I had to skip it. And I'm like, I'm not emotionally prepared for this right now. I will come back to you. I could not handle the emotions that that song was going to put me through. Because you can tell very early on that that song, nothing is dedicated to her father, but you know a part of it was about her father. And as someone who like, I lost my dad unexpectedly. So it's one of those things where I'm like, when it comes to daddy, like, oh it's it's a lot it, it hurts it really hurts it brought up those those feelings of missing my father and I, that's why i had to stop it and i was like okay i can't i can't do this um but when i went back and i listened to it it's a very 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 good song like it's so sentimental and so beautiful and billy eilish girl like you did your thing on that track like that oh that song was so good to have that open up the pink friday 2 album that was a good choice like in the order of things that was a really good choice my life is also another good sentimental song that nikki put out and you can tell like there are some of these songs where nikki was really really in her feelings and very very vulnerable and i don't blame her because people really be talking shit about her and it's like she's still human and she's gonna make her decisions her way live her life her way like we can't control what she does you wouldn't want someone to control what you do so why do we expect her to like listen to what we say and to do what we say like no like she'll take what we say into account but she's not going to be like i'm gonna live my life this way because this is how it's supposed to be no 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 so that song my life was just like okay that's definitely that's her telling us some shit like <laughs> and that felt a little more personal like she's speaking to us and again my opinion um then the other song let me calm down yeah so the other song let me calm down I was like, is this about her marriage? This feels more like her a song to her husband. And it's really, really good. Like, it's really, really good. Because, again, it kind of put me in my feelings. But you can tell it was so sentimental to her. She was vulnerable during this song. Like, it's, it's so beautiful. Like, I can't stop listening to it. J. Cole coming in. Like, his verse was amazing. Him also coming in. I don't know if anyone else caught the whole Will Smith line. And I was just like... The media kind of be shitting on him so i love that talking about you know putting your family first and some people just don't understand that so that premise of the song like it it was really good it's very meaningful and i absolutely love that song last time i saw you also made me cry very sentimental you can hear it in her voice as she's singing like you can tell like there's some songs you can tell nikki was you know just being her fun self being her boss self being a mother like and then you hear like onika not just nikki you hear onika 
So last time I saw you was one of those songs and Blessings is another one where you're just like, okay. And the other one, I almost forgot it, was Just the Memories. That one is another sentimental song. Very indie kind of vibes. I did like it. It wasn't like one of the best songs, but it's, it's definitely, it's a, it's a nice vibe. Now, we're going to get into the top 10 best songs of this album. Like I said, this album has 22 tracks. 22 tracks. Best songs, top 10, I have written right here. Now, it's not in order, but it's definitely more my favorites at the top compared to what's closer to the bottom. Because I really can't rank these right now. It's still too early for me to rank these. Like, this is the number one song, blah, blah, blah. But first things first, like I mentioned before, Are You Gone Already? That sentimental song that got me in my feelings, 10 out of 10. 100% 10 out of 10. That was an amazing song. I now listen to it on repeat and I make sure I have a tissue like nearby because I do tear up and I'm just like, oh, okay. I hear you, Nikki. I hear you. <laughs> um, 10 out of 10, one of the best songs. Barbie Dangerous? Is that even a question? Is that even a question? That song gets me like hyped, hyped fired up barbie dangerous is definitely one of the best songs of this album okay again like i said let me calm down with j cole amazing song amazing vibe even though it's it's a slower kind of song but it's still really really good everybody with little uzi vert oh my gosh <laughs> that song has been like yes like i'm dancing when that song comes on and i hit that repeat like i love that song that song is a must that song is a mood lifter mood booster i absolutely love that song big difference oh that's another one like barbie dangerous it gets me in my boss mood like who do you think you're talking to let me show you something all right like who are you talking to like i want to box someone i want to fight them that's the kind it just goes hard big difference goes hard okay just like red ruby the sleaze hard love the sample on it too i refuse to listen to that song when she first put it out as a single i refuse to listen to it because i'm like yo this song is gonna go on the album i don't want no spoilers of what this album is gonna be but then she put out super freaky girl which is also on my top 10 list and that one i was like hey hey so like <laughs> those two amazing amazing songs great singles because it it gave a sneak peek of like super freaky girl was more like the fun silly songs for her but then red ruby the sleaze was like I'm gonna come in with some bars. Like, but the whole sentimental songs, I didn't expect that. I just didn't. Forward from Trini. Listen, the Caribbean in me was very, very happy. The second I heard Barbados, I was like, ah! <laughs> I was hoping to hear SVG, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, but it's okay. That doesn't really rhyme with many things, but I was like, it's okay. She got Barbados in there. I'm happy. That, oh, Forward from Trini is definitely a bop. That's definitely on replay all the time like i'm driving to work oh song's almost done rewind it like i'm oh i love it that that's a good song that is a good song bam bam at first i was like oh, i don't know about this but then i was like you know what i do know about this this is a good song it's not like my hype song it's not my favorite 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 but it's definitely a top 10 of this album and then the last one is fallen for you it's a slower song kind of like let me calm down but it's a really, really good song. And the bars go hard in that song. Now, overall, let's give an overall score of this album. As of right now, within 48 hours of this album being out, I'm giving it an 8.5 out of 10. She put her foot in this, okay? She really, like, I'm, I want to go back and listen to it and really, really listen to the lyrics of every single song just to kind of understand each song a bit better. But so far, like bangers on bangers on bangers like the fact that this album has 22 songs and i can actually have a top 10 plus like sentimentals and not bads list that tells you like this song like my flops list is what one two three four five five songs on a flop list with 22 tracks on the album that is not bad so i'm gonna give it 8.5 out of 10 because again some of these songs are just like why like again at the club up like I'm still confused with that song. It's kind of weird to me, but also was that line that we all know, I'm not going to say it, but we all know that line in regards to Tory Lanez. Was that a diss at Megan or was that a, you know, I don't know. I rather, I would like it to be explained. I would like us to sit on that and not just jump to it. It's a diss, it's a diss. Let's really sit on it. Let's take in all of the song and then come to a conclusion later on. But that song, I don't know, flop, cowgirl flop, just some of these songs were just flops, but 
it's okay. She has amazing, amazing other songs, the sentimental songs. Don't skip the slow ones. I know you want to, do not skip them. You're really gonna get an insight to Nicki, not even Nicki Minaj, Onika. Like you're getting an insight to her vulnerability. Like this woman is 40 something years old, leave her alone. Like let her just live her life. It's just, it's such a great song. The penmanship of Nicki was outstanding. Like I wanna know how quickly she wrote all these songs. I want to know if she had some help, like how much help did she have and like which bars just kind of came to her. I would love like an in-depth review from Nikki to be like, yeah, this was the process of creating Pink Friday too. Like give us, give us something. You don't have to live your life. But as a Barb myself, I want to know like the process of this. Hearing Papa and have her, her mentioning Papa Bear so often throughout this album, I'm like, she's such a proud mama like i oh and that's what makes it so great is that you can tell that she's so proud of this album she's so proud of these songs she's so proud of this this project overall which is why you can't rate it bad because you see the quality of the work you know the hard work went into it you can't rank it anything lower than i think eight out of ten personally from like first listen you can't rank it you can't rank it anything lower other than that that's all i have to say about it right now I'm going to wait until these next four songs that she said are going to come out. I'm going to do a review on those. If there is a song with 50 Cent, that's the one that has me like the most excited. But I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment down below what you guys thought of the album. Your favorite songs. Give me your top three, top five, top ten, whatever you want. Like, let's conversate. Let's talk. If you think some of my flops weren't actually flops, let me know why. Like, I actually want to hear people's opinions about these songs. Until then, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out.